Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? (laughs) She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 4th of March. I'm James Spann. Got some changes coming up. We'll have wet weather tomorrow, colder Wednesday, then we turn warmer. What about the weekend ahead and a big snowstorm for the Middle Atlantic Coastal Region? Let's get in there and take a look. We'll uh, check some of the sky cam shots. Alabama's weather looking pretty good today. Nobody really griping about the weather. That's the Tuscaloosa sky cam. Partly sunny there. Very similar sky coming from Jasper and Walker County. And the Fayette sky cam looking good as well. Strong disturbance coming across the northern plains that is producing blizzard conditions in parts of North Dakota. And that will slide on to the east-southeast. And that's one of the ingredients in that big uh, east coast storm that will develop by midweek. Looking pretty good there on the board. We've got Tuscaloosa 64. Hey, Montgomery is at 65 at 2 o'clock. But on the other hand, it's cooler back up in northeast Alabama. Fort Payne at 52, 57 for Anniston and Gadsden. And around the nation, look at the warm air coming up through Texas. I see 80s there. Uh, but the north, it's awfully cold. And we'll catch a chunk of that colder air Wednesday. In the wake of some rain, we'll deal with tomorrow. Uh, we'll check the watch warning map. We have winter storm watches. In effect, and warnings uh, for a lot of the northern states, blizzard warnings for parts of North Dakota and Montana, winter storm warnings for Minneapolis, St. Paul, and Chicago, Uh, big winter storm watch for the Washington, D.C., Baltimore areas and points west, and uh, we'll take a look at some of the snow output of the RPM. Uh, This is through 72 hours. Uh, Look at Chicago here. That's uh, suggesting uh, almost a foot of snow for parts of Chicago. And there's a look at the latest numbers for our friends in the uh, D.C. Baltimore area. It's going to be a very sharp cutoff, and where that cutoff line exactly falls is yet to be determined, but it looks like it will snow in Baltimore and Washington. The really heavy snows just north and west of there uh, still looks like uh, some folks near the Virginia, West Virginia border could see 30 inches of heavy, wet snow. And, of course, also some big numbers up through New York City. Up into New England, just west of Boston. Uh, This is suggesting Boston will stay rain with the snows just uh, uh, west of there. But again, this could change. But that's just some guidance for our friends up in the uh, northeast United States. Uh, Let's get there and take a look at uh, the modeling. This is the GFS, the global forecast system, the 12Z run, valid at 12 noon tomorrow at 500 millibars. There's that strong disturbance north of us, and uh, down below that, a surface low is near the Ohio River, west of Cincinnati, with a trailing front, and we expect periods of rain, maybe some thunder tomorrow. Rain amounts of about one-half inch, perhaps a quarter to one-half inch. Don't think it'll be all that heavy. Uh, The high should be in the low 60s. And the dew points hold in the 40s, and accordingly now, the uh, NAM is showing no surface-based instability. This is valid at 12 noon tomorrow. I mean no instability. So again, there could be some elevated thunder, but certainly severe weather will not be a problem with that. This is the SPC day two convective outlook, just the low end 5% severe weather possibilities over parts of Georgia and South Carolina. Uh, Nothing showing up here. Wednesday, we turn colder for one day. Uh, You'll see strong cold air advection. The high will be around 50 on Wednesday with a rather gusty northwest wind of 12 to 25 miles an hour. And, of course, the uh, obvious story there is that big blizzard that could be raging just just west of Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. And that's going to be a forecaster's nightmare up there trying to draw that exact line. It's going to be a very, very sharp cutoff uh, where the, the snow stops and there's just rain. Always a problem with those nor'easters. Thursday, we'll probably start the day below freezing, down around 30, but the high should be up in the 50s. And on Friday, a good chance we see mid-60s with a sunny sky. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, bright and sunny. Saturday, I think you'll like that day to kick off the weekend. Sunny and mild. Uh, The latest GFS is printing a high of 66. The previous run is had printed a high of 70, but I think upper 60s sounds about right. New storm developing over the Texas, Oklahoma, Panhandles, and where Colorado and Kansas come together. We'll keep an eye on that. We'll go to Sunday in the upper levels. You can see that strong upper low that's lifting out of the southwest, but we have ridging here. So 
Uh, this really shows Sunday to be a dry day for us. I think we can take out any chance of showers. And a very mild day. Uh, temperatures upper 60s, maybe approaching 70. The surface low is over Kansas. Really not moving all that much. The rain shield stays well to the west. And even Monday at midday, uh, the rain is just west of here. Surface low near Milwaukee. Trailing batch of showers and storms down through Memphis, the Mississippi Delta, down into Houston. And finally, it creeps in here Monday night of next week. So if you take the GFS on face value, the weekend will be totally dry. And even Monday, it might be uh, late Monday or Monday night before the rain moves in. And interestingly enough, the European holds off the rain until Wednesday of next week. This is Wednesday, March 13th. So uh, confidence is building that we'll uh, be mild and dry this weekend. And that'll work. Go out there toward the end of the forecast. This is March the 19th. Hey, how about a surface low in the Gulf and some cold air? Could that be a... Uh, late March snow for parts of Tennessee and Kentucky? Eh, maybe, but uh, obviously this will change again. This is all out there in the land of voodoo. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you can, watch us on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless. I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.